Well, how's it going YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to be testing out my Kettle River Cutlery M42 Cobalt High Speed Steel Woodsman. And this knife has got a 4 inch cutting edge on it. Uh, it's 7 30 seconds thick, which is just under a quarter. And uh, the steel is heat treated to 63 to 65 Rockwell. And um, I'm going to be using a 15 degree 600 grit edge on it. And I've got this piece of wood that I'm just going to be doing a marathon, you know, shaving the wood test. I'll just be uh, grabbing it in sort of a draw peel motion. And from here to here is 18 inches. So this is 9 overall. This is 9 overall. So I just figured that'd be a good little section just to see how this does as a bushcrafter for uh, whittling through a whole bunch. I was thinking, you know, check it out check it at 50, check it at 100, that kind of thing. So I was going to use my marker, uh, put a little X every 10 or so, so that way I can keep track, because in my head uh, I'm going to have a lot of other stuff going on. So here we go. Uh, well, that's um, not going to work because the knife keeps digging out these massive chunks of the board. Um, it's just not a very good piece of wood for doing very long draw cuts, so I'll probably have to resort to a more measurable whittling stroke, I guess. Um, guess we'll see how it does if I whittle through the 2x4. All right, so far uh, I've counted 500 uh, strokes. It's not nearly as scientific as I wanted as far as accurate length of stroke to, you know, compare it to other knives, but anyway, still, still cutting just fine. You know, still shaving, still shaving just fine. Um, yeah, my idea for a <clears throat> for a coating with the brown alzaluma hide isn't working very well. Uh, just right above the edge, it's chipping away. But it looks like oh, maybe I polished this knife before I painted it. It it could be that it's a Scotch Brite finish and it's not an actual like 120. So I'll have to retest that on a knife that I know for sure I didn't go too fine on. But anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to check in. So we will continue through the rest of the board. All right, I'm getting a little tired now. Uh, added another 300 strokes to the 
original number where I'm at so far. I'm trying to keep, I mean some of the cuts are ending out here, but I'm trying to keep all of them started right there to have a consistent, you know, amount of, or an area of wear. So that's been my goal. All right, we'll keep going. So there we have about a thousand. It was a 950 when I counted them up, but of individual little cuts. And again, it's not as consistent as say a piece of rope where you know exactly how thick it is, but just to get an idea of what it would do, I just had, I wanted to do something and this is all I had handy, but you know, the knife is still actually quite usably sharp. Um, it will still, you know, bite into the slippery, the slippery portion of this paper on the side. And usually that means it shaves. Haven't tested it. Yep. Very easily still shaves. Uh, no stropping or anything. Why do I think M42 would be a good steel for a bushcrafter edge retention wise? Well, they use it in the high end lathe gouges that cost hundreds of dollars. And they last for a long time. So this was just a short demo. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful.